Welcome back. Today I'm on a new My Manager Mac. I just want to give you a quick overview of it to get you up and running quickly. So when you start it, this is what you get. You get a choice of what kind of map you want to begin with. If you come to the right here, you've got See All, select that, double tap it. It will give you various maps from timelines to Venn diagrams. If you come to the bottom here, you've got some good templates to have a look at. Definitely worth a look at here because it does point you in the right direction. But what I'm going to start with is just any random map. So I want to go for this map here and select choose. I'm going to maximize the window so you can see that clearly. So let's see if there's any changes. I'm going to click in the middle and let's just say you've got some research doing the subjects. So I'm just going to make anything up and I'm doing this on the fly anyway. There we go. So we've got to do some research on animals, Africa click on it and if you've used this before if you click the little plus button here you can create your first branch and add a sub branch. So I'm going to tap into that and put research because you need to do research on a subject but let's break that down a bit to see what research you want to do so if you click the plus and I'm going to type in first probably the web you probably go to first click back on research and then I probably click on that you might go Google Scholar, look for some journals online or internal libraries that you might have in your Moodle, Blackboard or Portal. So I'm just going to put journals in there. So I mean, you can get journals in paper format or online. Also, I'll click back on research, create another little branch off of there. And I'm going to put library. So let's just say books as an example. So there we go. Got research on animals in Africa. There's your research, we broke down into three sections. Now if I click back on animals in Africa and add a little plus, you can also use the shortcut keys by the way. Next, I'm going to call this, obviously you've got to organise all your information, so organise info from all your research. And then what we could do, I'll create another one off here to the left and you maybe do a, a draft, there maybe. There we go, we've got a template for map and research. So the first one I've got is web. Before I carry on, come to the right here. You've got what's called an inspector. Now if I click through it, the first option here, you've got priorities you could add. So I've got web, and I might click on that. That's number one priority. I might want to go to the web first to do my research. And maybe I want to get three quarters of my web research done before I move on. So I could put 75%. And when I've finished, I can click task done when I've done all my research. But I'm going to put not done, there's nothing on there yet. Also, if I click the second option, you could add use start date and due date. So, for example, if I select use start date for my web research, click the drop down menu, and I could choose a date for say the 12th next week. Tap off that and use a due date. So, I need to get all my research done, and then I could maybe put the following week there. And if you look over to the left, you can see where I've got to do my research on the web. The 12th of the 2nd of February to the 20th, so it gives me seven days to do that. Not necessarily, you can change it here. You can up the days by clicking on it here if you want, or lower the days, it's up to you. So I'm going to actually up the days to 10. And then resources, you could add, well, obviously the web's one. But then you might want to add other specific websites, so you might actually put internal library that depends on your blackboard or portal and maybe JSTOR and if you're doing a medical degree you might have been using PubMed so that's actually what you know add there anyway but I'm digressing a bit there but if I click here quickly this is an important bit I want to show you as well where we can start adding our research so I'm going to go online I'm going to maximise the window so you can see everything clearly on your monitors. And let's do a quick search. Right, I'm going to use anything really. That looks quite interesting there. I'm going to go for the World Atlas and select that. And select OK. So I've got something I want to research from. So I'm going to copy the link at the top first. Tap once, Command C. And I'm going to go back to my Mind Manager. Now I've got it on web here, so what I could do, if I tap off that, I could technically click on here and create another little branch off of there, 
and in there I could type in name of the website so just for now I just put website one but I've got the link for that haven't I so I'll tap back on it come to the right see where it says links and attachments I'm going to select manage and now I'm going to select add to say what kind of link I want to add because it could be a hyperlink or it could be a link to a file on your Mac make sure you're selecting URL if it's for the internet but you can use topic or file or folder from your Mac or even an email address so I'm going to paste it there command V and it automatically finds the title for me which was the worldatlas.com so I'll select OK if I zoom in you can see the little link there to the website so if I tap on it it will bring that instantly up for me click OK now if you are doing research on that website you might want to highlight specific information so I'm going to highlight that imagine you're going to use that command C again again I'm going to open up my my manager now with this highlighted because I've got the link there I want to add the information there as well so if you come to the top I've got an option here notes you can press but there's an easier method I find to keep your workflow going just do a two finger tap on your trackpad and you can access everything there so I'm going to select add notes so now if I command V I've now pasted that information into there so I've now if I click back on notes it disappears but now I've got two links a link to the website and a link to the note which I can open up and access anytime I want click notes again to close it I might want to add an image to this as well just for the visual memory come to library in your inspector have a little scroll down see if there's anything there that's relevant if not click the drop down menu here and select images and I can't find them so I'm going to search here and I'm just going to put animals doesn't matter let's open up Google again tap on it I might want to use one of these images here actually so I'm going to do a two finger tap I'm going to copy that image go back to my mind manager and I'm actually going to two finger tap and paste it on the actual branch to make it smaller if I go to the corners hold the left button and drag that in that was a bit on the large size and there we go so I've got me links I've got a visual image and I've also got me task info and how long I'm going to spend doing research on the web so what else can I do here so you've got a file on your Mac that you want to add to that as well not a problem so always click back on it first again come to the top you can select attach file or remember what I showed you if you do a two finger tap on the branch and then we can start adding information there or attachment so I'm going to select insert attachment tap on it I've got nothing there really so I'm just going to tap that image there as an example and select open so now what have I got I've got a note I've got a link to the website where I've got the information and I've got an attachment where I've added it so that's about building up and organise your information let me drag back over also remember it's about visual mapping so if I actually select format and I'll click on animals Africa I could then change that branch so it stands out so I might make that the lines more red I also might do the fill colour on there a little more blue to stand out I could change the text as well if I want if I'm not happy with the standard font I could then change the font as well and go back to style and inspector now once you've done your research next you might want to export that to word or another media easily done before you can export you have to save it first so bear that in mind let's go file save as and then choose where you're going to save it to I'm going to save that to my documents now if you come up to file and select export for me I want to send that to word you've got image PDF portable document format if you want but you can also choose JPEG PNG TIFF and PDF if you want or you just might want a standard text format or which text format it's up to you but I want to send it to word and select next again you can choose how you export it which is really important depending on what you want to do because you could write your essay with this in a visual way and send it in linear format as a word document but I'm going to leave everything there including tags icons start date everything to show you and select next 
I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And select save and leave it as Animals Africa. And I'm going to select open. And select yes. As your table contents, I'm going to do update entire table. Click OK. And let's have a look. So I've got my map at the top and title. I've got my table of contents. I've got my research information. I've added. I've even got the links that I can assess by double tapping and bringing them open. I've got my website one and my image and all my research information organized in a word processor ready to go. And close that and don't save. Let me open up my manager again. So it's one quick option, but you know what else you can do actually? If I go to File New, let's say you've done all your research and now you're going to write your essay. Or maybe you can do your dissertation. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to put cheetah in there as an African animal. Click on that. Remember, click the plus button to create your first branch. But what you're doing now is you're structuring your essay. This will be your first paragraph. So what's the total of our first paragraph? Let me make something up. Let's put Masai Mara in there, for example. So there's your first paragraph. Click on it again, and we can create a second paragraph. And I'll pop in there, protected. So we've got your title tutor, first, second paragraph. Now we want to break down your first paragraph into subparagraphs. So if I click it twice as so, this will be my first part of my paragraph of Masai Mara. So I could put in there the history. And the end part of my first paragraph I could put in there gaming, for example, to talk about. I've now got some form of structure in my essay. So what you do is you click on history, two finger tap, and then we can add a note start discussing the history of the Masai Mara. That would do. And again, if you leave that note open and select gaming, which is the end part of your first paragraph, you can start adding information for the end part of your first paragraph. Now, if you have a spelling error, do a right click on it, and it will give you the spelling option there. You can also select correct spelling automatically, so if you make the same spelling wrong each time, it will do it automatically for you. And I'm going to select that. And there we go, now to close notes, come to the top. We've now got structure. Now you want to move your structure around for your paragraphs. Just hold the left button and drag them into position. Now protected will be your first paragraph, so always work clockwise. Hold the left button, I'm going to drag that back down. Now we're going to send that to Word again, so remember. Save it first, file, save, and I'll save it to desktop as cheetah. Though actually, I've got a spelling error there, haven't I? I've missed out another E. There we go, cheetah, and that didn't come up with a spelling error, so maybe cheetah is another word that I'd originally there. So, I'm going to save that again, file, save. Now, I'm going to export that again, so it's file, export. Now, we're sending it to Word as an essay, and it's going to be structured, so Word and select next. I don't have to worry about a lot of this because there's no hyperlinks I've added anyway, is there? Or icons. But I want topic notes and I haven't got any call out topics or anything. So I can just export that. But if you go to format here, it's an important bit. I don't actually want the map sent to Word. And I probably don't want the table of contents, but I'll leave that in there for you to have a look at. I can leave the numbering scheme there, which is fine. And I can even add headers and footers. And document style, I can choose the document style I want. So I'm going to select next, and I'm going to save that again to my desktop. So you just get an idea of the layout. Click OK, and if I go to my desktop, we should now have all the information in linear format, and select yes, update pages only. I'm going to update the entire table, click OK, and here we go. 
got my title, table of contents, and see the structure here. You don't have to have the numbering scheme, you can get rid of that, but I've got everything structured for my title. First paragraph, which I broke down into two sections. So what you could do is, you could delete the subheadings. And that way, you know that you've put your paragraphs and covered what you need to cover for each paragraph. And it's as simple as that. Let me close that. And don't save. So there's a few little options to get you up and running on the new Mind Manager on the Mac. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.